Leaders of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Economies met in Bangkok, Thailand, on Friday to discuss ways to promote sustainable development and facilitate trade and investment. A Turkish scholar spoke positively of the APEC role in trade facilitation and economic cooperation. APEC itself, as a representative of economic globalization, in that regard, there is a unification of global economy and trade facilitation, trade liberalization, and multilateral cooperation. These are the key assets that APEC developed so far. So this year's summit is very important to uh, confirm these uh, principles and rules developed uh, from the uh, beginning of the APEC uh, history. The Bangkok meeting is the first in-person gathering of the APEC economic leaders since 2018. Kolokoglu also spoke highly of China's efforts in promoting the Asia-Pacific community of a shared future for mankind. Usually China uh, is adopting very uh, productive uh, stance to promote uh, further integration in the Asia Pacific zone. We can say that uh, these uh, principles for uh, multilateralism and also building a joint uh, economic future for all in the Asia Pacific region are uh, key uh, principles and basic needs uh, what we need to uh, join Asia Pacific uh, market and joint Asia-Pacific community in general. These are the very important uh, elements we need to uh, focus on. APEC, established in 1989, is a premier regional economic forum to support sustainable economic growth and prosperity in the Asia-Pacific region.